So uh, today we're gonna go bomb around in this crazy little hyper scooter thing and we'll talk about build quality and get into some more de details about the power, like how the torque feels and maybe get an idea about what kind of speed we can get out of it. And I also want to get a feel for the range. This isn't going to be like a, a range test video, but you know, just kind of get some idea about it. So I'm going to be riding in basically full power mode. We'll do sport, gear three. So this is kind of the first time I've sort of ventured out. Wait, okay, I was going to say, that does not look right to me. God, this thing, it feels, it feels like it's going way faster than it actually is. It's crazy. So, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of torque from the get-go. I think I'm kind of used to my, my Talaria with the 54.2 sprocket, you know, it has a center center drive motor with the, you know, sprocket and all that, so they're going to be way more torquey off the line than these hub motor ones, but going 50 miles an hour, I, I'm pretty sure there's still a good amount left right there. I've gotten it up to 55 before. Actually, it's not... Hey! You know, it, it's, it feels pretty stable at speed. I don't really feel too sketch. It feels like I'm fucking hauling ass though, because, you know, looking forward, I can't really see, even see the handlebars really. You have to look kind of down. So it kind of feels like I'm just kind of flying. <laughs> but it's pretty fun. You're just going on a straight line like this. It has turn signals and a, and a headlight. I just got to get used to using the turn signals. It has brake lights. This doesn't have any mirrors. I need to put some mirrors on here. Yeah, this, this comes with an application where you can tune tune the controller. I was kind of dicking around with it a little bit, but you know, it's it's hard not to go fast on this, really. It's funny because it, it has a lot of horsepower, I guess, compared to torque. So once you're going, it, it, you know, it picks up pretty quick. You know, starting from about 20 miles an hour or something like that. But you know, from from go to about 10 miles an hour is kind of slow. It's kind of all over the sidewalk there. <laughs> lost in thought but i did notice you can you can change the startup settings like what the power mode is on startup and at, by default it's set to 50 percent and so i'm thinking maybe if i change that to 100 percent, i can get more torque off the line but i mean i'm, I'm not wanting for more power you know i don't want to go 60 70 miles an hour on this thing because that'd be sketch as hell on this tiny little bike i mean going 40 miles an hour feels like i'm going 80 you know and it hits 50 no problem why it's why you put your dogs on a leash what the hell's wrong with people you're in a public place he's obviously a pup he's not trained but uh i've only had this for you know a few days i've taken it out a few times and that's already my I, one of my favorites i have to say you know between this and my tulare triple x i mean this thing is just it's so fucking fun i'm glad i bought it now in terms of build quality i mean when you when you walk around and look at it you know it looks pretty nice it looks you know pretty mean i think how the uh the swing arm comes out a little bit from the back it's kind of exposed you know personally i think it looks better with the uh, dirt tires on it than it does the street tires you know I, I like how it has like the protection over the uh the headlight you know it just looks like a, a pretty cool mean little machine <laughs> yeah i'm pretty curious about range because the 72 volts 50 amp hours is a pretty good size battery that's 3600 watt hours so i'm thinking let's see on my upgraded um Suron that i had it was 72 volt 51 amp hours and i got exactly 50 miles out of that thing but i was running 15 kilowatts through it so i'm hoping this will get at least 50 miles in sport mode with dual motor level three sport all that kind of stuff that i'm, I'm never going to ride it in a lower power mode this is where i'm, I'm always going to ride it in this mode so I, I you know i really don't care about the the range and the lower modes but i guess if you're going a super long distance it might be you know worth kind of figuring out what that range might be maybe i'll do a video i'm going to do a video on the range for dual motor sport mode for sure the handle's pretty good too you know it's pretty nimble because it's so small i also like how quiet it is but anyways back to the uh quality it feels solid like nothing sticks out at me it's necessarily like cheap you know, all the components, they feel well put together. There's a lot of aluminum. I think it's an aluminum, aluminum frame. Oh shit, just right in the middle of the fucking sidewalk, huh? I mean, there's like grass on either side. Okay. Whoa. Bird almost flew into my head. 
Um, there, I mean, there are some some spots that could be, you know, better in terms of assembly. Like in the back where the trunk is, there's a little hinge, and the hinge is is attached to the uh, acrylic, the black shiny acrylic, and, and that part really isn't like glued on or attached very well. So I mean, I'll probably just get some adhesive or something like that and just just glue it on properly. But got all these birds out today. Serious cameras going on right here. Some serious bird watchers. Man, there's a, just a ton, a ton of birds out. They are sending me a uh, a case for it though, uh, a top box, you know, and it's it's pretty damn big. I mean, it looks like half the size of the fucking bike when you see it. But, uh, I mean, that'd be really cool for, like, doing some grocery shopping or something like that. You want to take this out and just, you know, probably get, like, three or four bags of groceries. You can probably fit in there. Or if you're doing DoorDash, I mean, it'd be super convenient for DoorDash. Because you got the power and you got the range on this thing. I mean, if it, you could probably do a full day's worth of DoorDash if you stuck it, like, in single motor mode. Like on Eco or something like that. Pretty soon here I'm going to do a video on the application that it comes with. But I got to figure out how to tune everything. I'm gonna, probably going to get on a call with the manufacturer and have them walk me through it before I do anything. You know, I was hoping it would, you know, be at least as powerful as that, uh, what is it, Extreme Bull K6 or whatever that one is. That one's like 134 volts though, and this one's 72. That one has, I mean, it's claimed 7,000 watts total dual 3500 motors but i mean these manufacturers they, 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 who knows if what they're saying is true about their motors and all that kind of stuff i mean these hub motors yeah are they talking peak are they talking nominal you know what, what do they mean by when it says dual 5000 watt motors so i think it would have a similar top speed it doesn't seem like it has a torque though but that uh extreme bull k6 has smaller tires on it like a lot smaller so that's gonna make it feel more torquey. This one has 14 inch. I'm not sure what the K6 is, but I'll, I'll flash it on the screen right now when I find out. You know, I think it does have something to do with the settings in the controller, because like I get to a certain point and it feels like the power just kicks in and then I just take off and it pulls. Uh, I don't really like this wetness. So I'm thinking maybe if I just increase the power at startup, then it, it'll probably be a little bit more torquey off the line. The speedo is not correct though. It's a little a couple miles an hour slow. Well, let's see. Let's try to maintain a constant speed and see. No, I guess it's about right. It's just my uh, GPS isn't picking up that the speed very well. I think because of the cloud cover. Another thing that annoys me is not being able to see the actual battery percentage. It just has these stupid bars. So the application will show your percentage, so I'm gonna have to stop in a bit. I wanna see where I'm at after 10 miles. So I gotta say that the seat on this thing's pretty comfortable. There's not that much padding in it, but it's it's wide, you know, flat and wide. So it's actually, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Just hit a bump right there. <laughs> I'm sure I look ridiculous in this thing. I can already see people smirks in their cars and stuff like that, but I mean, I'd smirk at me too. I'm a fat guy on a tiny bike just fucking hauling ass, so <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, so according to the application here, it says I have 76% battery left. And we've gone 9.54 miles, almost 10 miles. So, you know, maybe 30, 5, 40 miles of range in sport. Yeah, I really like how this thing has a trunk too. So makes me feel more secure being able to have my battery with me in the trunk at all times not battery i'm sorry the charger you know so if i'm out and it doesn't look like i'm gonna make it home i can just you know go grab a, a drink somewhere or something to eat and, and charge up so this is kind of why i got the uh, off-road tires instead of the street tires so i can go and do this kind of stuff it does have full suspension i mean it's not the best but i mean it's actually pretty stiff but i mean it works oh yeah there's also there's this button on the side, it says something. Pretty sure it says ludicrous mode. So I think there actually is one more power mode on top of the sport, like when you hit this ludicrous button. I'm not sure if it gives you temporary high power or if it's like constant or what, but yeah, somebody was asking me about the uh, weight. It weighs, I think, probably in between 125, 150 pounds. It's not very heavy. I can lift it up no problem. So 
you know, if you got like an SUV or something like that, it might even fit in a big large trunk. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be too hard to lift it in and out of a vehicle for sure. I mean, for four grand, I mean, think about like a, a brand new Surron's like 4,500 bucks. You know, this is a lot more powerful than a uh, stock Surron in terms of top speed and stuff like that and range. So the Surron is like rocking a 38 amp hour battery, 60 volts. This is 72, 50 amp hours. It's got a top speed of about 45 to 50 miles an hour. I'm going to say this one probably has a top speed of 60. Uh, they claim 70. I, I don't know about that. Definitely not with me on it. I think I can probably get up to 60. Not sure I want to, but I probably could. I might end up doing a top speed run on this. I don't know. It feels, it seems dangerous. Alrighty. Let's see. What do we got here? All right, guys. So I'm home. My uh, GoPro battery died on me. So in case you were curious what we got. So we did, let's see, almost 21 miles. Top speed was 50 miles an hour. I would say 75% of the trip was, is this still connected? That can't be right. It's saying 67% left on the battery. Wow. So if we did 20 miles with 67%, maybe it would get 50 miles. I'm not sure, but that's pretty fucking good. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I don't know if you can hear I got some brisket smoke in there, but do me a favor and like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.